Okay, welcome everybody to our team call. It is December 7th. We're closing in on the last couple of weeks of 2020. Wow, what a year it's been, but what a big day of the year it is um, with the launch of Nine Week Control Freak. Um, I've never seen so much excitement and energy for a launch, but Autumn has a way of doing that upon her program releases, and I can see it not even within the team, but network-wide, it is mind-blowing seeing the orders, seeing the post on the round table and everything going on. So I'm really, really excited. For any new coaches on the call, welcome to our team call. My name is David Atkins. This is Kristen Atkins, your founding coaches at Team Perseverance. And this is where we come together every other Monday night at 8.30 to go over news, training, announcements, recognition and just to get together as a team and come together so i want to get right into it guys let me i'm adding more people here um i want to get right in and share the screen tonight's call topic because there's no better way than to kick off the call hold on here with what was going on today so let me share my screen and here we go All right, guys, so I had to open up with that because this is what it's all about. Um, I know team-wide the date's going to be January 4th. We're all going to be starting the program then. Hey, if you want to start it early, go for it. I personally want to treat this program. I haven't treated one of these like this since I was in the test group of Live 4, but like a test group. Like I told Kristen, I, I want to get back to that weight. I got to drop about eight pounds. I'm not where I want to be, but I want to be able to go all in and, and try to have the least amount of obstacles with uh, some of the holidays coming around the corner, but we're really excited about it. So um, let's move on to the rest of the information on the call. So I want to welcome any new coaches on the call. Welcome. If this is your first call, you may say, what do I do now? Um, the, po the post at the top of the Team Perseverance team page goes over some important items. You may have got an email from your coach. A couple of the items are to go through the new coach starter guide, which breaks everything down in a PDF format of what you need to do to start moving your business forward. Um, also to make sure you're in a challenge group, that's ground zero. If you have not been in a group, check and plug in with your coach to make sure you are in a challenge group. Um, also, we are gonna be starting a coach basic started today. Um, we are running Coach Basics every single month. It's 17 days um, of training. It's a daily post that goes up each day with a little assignment. It's easy to do. You do it over 17 days. You're going to learn a wealth of information on how to build and grow this business. It's not hard, guys. It's just a matter of being committed and having the self-discipline. And we are bringing back, um, starting in two weeks, every other Monday night before the team call at 8 p.m., we are going to have a new coach getting started right call. So any of you that have coaches that sign up, they can plug into the getting started right call. We are basically going to go over the new coach starter guide, answer any questions, make sure that they are in a challenge group or getting in one, and to share with them the next step would be coach basics. We basically map out what they should be doing their first 60 days as a coach. So that will start, excuse me, um, two weeks from today on December 21st. Uh, the national wake up call today, if any of you have caught the call, it was with Autumn today and Carl Dykler spoke, the CEO, about the launch. She shared some great information on there, um, again, about the program. And there were some other great announcements and recognition. If you did not hear the recording, you can get it on the Team Beach Body. Coach 411 Facebook page. Everybody should be following that page. It's also on the Team Beach Body podcast. Um, and these are great calls I used to listen to in the car on the way to work or on the way back from work or while running errands um, on each Monday. Because again, when you treat this like a business, you need to be plugged in to what's going on with Team Beach Body as a whole, with the team, and stay in plugged in to help move your business forward. Some push goals to get to the new leader conference. You have to be a one star by the end of the year. Um, elite coach, 105 leadership points, five star diamond by the end of the year, and premier coach, 75 leadership points, and a two star diamond by the end of the year. 
Um, I want to welcome all the new coaches that joined our team in November 2020. So congratulations um, to any new coaches. Maybe you see your name on there. So congratulations to everybody that joined us. And I also want to give a shout out to everybody that hit Success Club in November. Success Club 10 with Teresa, Liza, and Kendra Paul. And those that hit Success Club 5 with Joan, Kristen, Devin, Melanie, Argelise, Joanna, Michelle, Shannon, Lindsay, and Catherine. And honorable mention, amazing guys. These are all lives that are being changed with people that help people and just absolutely, absolutely amazing worth. Er, worth. Work. It is amazing worth. <laughs> Good job, team. Oh, all stuck. Okay. New qualification period. Our leadership retreat is we have it booked and planned for May 12th to the 16th. We're going. We are going. We rented out a ridiculously beautiful house. I meant to put the video of that in there, but since I put Nine Week Control Freak, I didn't put it in. But the house that sleeps 20-something people, this is everybody that's qualified that plans on going, and we still have a few spots left. You have to be a diamond coach, and you can see you have to hold diamond for six consecutive weeks. And if you do, you get an invite to the exclusive first-ever annual Team Perseverance Leadership Retreat. You want to talk about this? All right. So That's my sweater. <laughs> our next team call is actually going to be our team party. It will also double as our Secret Santa gift swap. So I set up the Elfster, um, the uh, Secret Santa swap. If for some reason you signed up and you have not received an email with your person yet, you need to message me ASAP. I need to make sure that you're in the system. Um, Everybody already got their names distributed. So if you're not sure, you got to ask me if you already signed up. Um, so on the 21st, Lindsay Kaufman is going to, I know she's working on it and I'll probably get it to you within the next week. Right, Linz? I can give it to them. Um, Lindsay is coming up with two drinks to get us started. Um, they're they they're going to be alcoholic and non-alcoholic. So you can choose, she's gonna give us the ingredients ahead of time. And again, this is optional. You don't have to do this, but this is something fun. She'll give us the ingredients for the, um, the drinks. We can get them ahead of time. And then once we log on to the call with our ugly sweaters on, we will mix up a cocktail. Lindsay will lead us in that and we'll have a toast uh, to kick off the holidays as a team. We will be giving out two prizes for the top two ugliest sweaters um, or ugliest outfits. Christmas wise. Um, and then we will be opening our secret Santa gifts. So this is what I want to remind you. I put, um, I've been sending little messages through Elster. When you send your gift, if you can on the return address, write secret Santa, don't write your name. Cause then they're going to not realize who it is and they're going to open it right away. Um, if you can do that and just have your name on the inside. All right. If you're getting it sent from an actual website, um, request the same thing if you can if you can't no big deal um but at least then they'll know it's a secret santa gift and they won't open it until the 21st hopefully um and that's it i think that's the main thing if you if you did not get a name and you need a name if you signed up you gotta let me know it's too late to sign up now but if you signed up and didn't see one then you have to message me Okay, so monthly coach basics started today. So if you are a new coach and you've been through a challenge group and you're ready to jump in that coach training, um, again, it's basic, it's easy. Message your coach, you can get in there, they'll get you added in and you definitely wanna jump on that for sure. Um, off to the races, if you have at least two success club points, please message or post on the team page. You're off to the races so we can put you in the private message pod for December. This is a place where we can group in coaches that are moving their business forward because they've achieved success club points. And again, the easiest way to achieve success club points is by the sale of a challenge pack. And that will get you two points. And the goal is to help at least three people um, a month. Okay, what's new? A couple quick announcements. Nine week control free coach exclusive window is now open. As everybody know, that dropped today. It's not available to customers until December 21st, and then it will not be going on to the Beachbody On Demand um, platform for regular people that have bod for quite a few months. I'm not sure the exact date offhand. It's usually about six months. About now. six months. So right now, um, if I was a coach and I was on here, do your best to get it ASAP because 
this stuff and the equipment tends to sell out quickly and autumn tends to do that like every program there's a free uh sample workout now available um that they can get and there's also if you can't find it on say bob you can send somebody the link it's in your coach online office if you go to the coach online office you click on the grow your business tab then from there shareable media and then you'll see in there the nine week control freak um kit and it has all the links for all the different things including the sample workout um, there's also a first-time enroller promo. So they're giving 400 first-time sellers the opportunity to become a member in the nine-week Control Free Creator Audit Calabrese's first ever BOD group, along with their sponsoring coach. Here's how it works. Each week in December, we will choose 100 coaches who earn their first ever success club points by selling a nine-week Control Free Challenge or Completion Pack for inclusion in this exclusive BOD group, along with their sponsor and coach. Winner, winners will be chosen randomly. If you are not chosen in the first week, every first time seller can still be eligible for selection each week that they sell a nine week control free pack in the month of December. So that is a first time enroller promo, guys. I'm just gonna, whoop, I wanna make sure there's nobody waiting to try to get in. Um, yep, so somebody's waiting. Okay, moving on. Um, oh, sorry, guys, my screen got blocked. Okay, okay a couple um, things that are new in the Coach Online office, the nine-week control freak product toolkit. That is your go-to place to learn everything about the program and answer any questions. Challenge group guide, key dates, the first ever video, like the video I just showed you guys, I got it from there. So please, you know, take it upon yourself if you want to learn about the program to go in there. Don't miss out on the holiday apparel sale. One week left to save up to 50% off during the sale of some of Beachbody's clothing wear. And it's the final month to earn your Success Club 2020 rewards. So if this is your first month and you hit Success Club in December, you will get a Team Beach Body Tank or T-shirt. If you're going for three months, you'll get the puzzle. Six months, two blankets. Nine months, pullover sweatshirt. And 12 months, the branded Theragun. Is anybody in the running for the Theragun? Nice. Yeah, we're going to have a couple of them in the house. Um, <laughs> Nine-week control freak shipping assurance as they prepare for the, the launch today. They want to say that they are basically back to normal fulfillment days of one to two days. There's no back order items to ship. And we have a large supply of nine-week control freak inventory to ensure we will not experience a back order situation. So fingers crossed on that. So um, moving on, the new leadership conference registration is now open. I saw Griffin... One of our Star Diamonds posted in the, in the Diamond thread that he registered for the new leader conference. So that's awesome. And congratulations for Griffin for sharing that. Um, there's some new things going on in BOD Group. So guys, we will be moving, correct? January 4th, we're going to be going to BOD Groups and not run our challenge group in Facebook. BOD Groups have been out for a little while. There's been a lot of growing pains like anything else. But now they're, they're, they're constantly updating it. And after going to our leadership retreat with Beachbody and them going over a lot of great things and really challenge the leaders and people of the company to use the body groups because there's a lot of great things going on in there. So we want to give it another shot. So we're going to do nine-week control freak in the bod group starting January 4th. And for any new people, bod groups is basically – it's the app that Beachbody has that runs like a Facebook group. You can go live and, and many other things. So um, hold on here. I see there's some, um, I think there's people trying to get in. And let me just check the chat, guys. Because, guys, when I share my screen, I actually can't see what's said. So I didn't get a shake row. Dave, I got a question in the meantime. Yeah. Um, I think I had asked this in our pod and then I asked it in the group that you recommended, but I couldn't get an answer. Has there any, been any talk about the nutrition upgrade, like the nutrition tracking in the app, in the bod group yet? Not yet. Nothing. I have not seen that. 
But okay. I will tell you this, Melanie, because we weren't using it. I mean, Shannon, I'm sorry. I'm reading uh, Melanie's question as I'm talking to you. <laughs> Shannon, when I, I will tell you, they are constantly, probably weekly, talking about updates and fixes they are doing in the roundtable. And because we haven't been using it, I haven't been in tune with it as much. Yeah, so, no, I'm, well, I've been pretty in tune with it. Um, I was just, I just haven't heard anything uh, about it and, there and what specifically so I didn't know it. if there was anything in the round table, which I don't have access to. Specifically, so. specifically regarding nutrition and, nutrition why I wanna... and tracking. Yeah. Like tracking your, um, yeah. Nutritional tracking, you know, I will, I, will or... I will search and see if there's any history of it in there. And if not, I will inquire. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, I can't find anything, but I do remember them talking about that being an upgrade, but it not being there yet. So okay. cool. Thank you. Yeah. I'm just looking through that group too now, Shannon, just yeah. real quick. I mean, especially, I guess, I guess the real in question is, is especially since like there's, you know, now people are paying for that nutritional, you oh. know, subscription and right. how will it tie into the pot, the bottom? That's a good question. I'm going to inquire. Thank you. Um, what's new with the new coach promo codes? So, so all new coaches, just a reminder, when you sign up, you get three promo codes in the welcome email to use to give somebody, um, $20 off the purchase of anything they make. So here to ensure our new coaches have the experience of setting up a group on bond groups, we made some updates to the new coach promo code starting December 3rd, it's approximately 3 PM, so which is past. New coaches will receive one promo code, which expires after 30 days. As soon as a new coach creates their first group on buy groups or becomes a co-admin of the first time, they receive a set of three additional promo codes. So any new coaches, you get one promo code to share with somebody so they get a discount, which helps you leverage even more the challenge pack and to get that person to sign up. Okay. Any general questions before I kind of get into tonight's training? Let me check. Anybody unmute your line? Just going to see if there's anybody here. No, no. No general questions. Yeah, Joan, the shake robes are like blankets with arms in them. Oh, we, that's what that was. Yeah. Yes, that yeah. was. It was the blanket with the arms in them. I don't know if you guys didn't get that. Melanie, you're saying that too. I would check with Coach Relations on that if you were entitled. But Kristen and I got them. It like, was a while ago. Because I think it was the six or nine month gift, so it may have been a couple months ago. Yeah, you get two of them. Yeah, yeah, two in a box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember okay. getting the email to get it. And I never Melanie, it. Melanie, Melanie, you know what? Send me your address. I'll send you mine. Too. I'll share. I don't need um, to. I think also you have to fill out some, of, they're not all automatic. You have to fill out the link and submit it yeah, to, to get it sent your to your address. house. So if you don't do that, you miss it. Yeah. So if you miss that, um, that window or that email. Mel, I filled it out. I didn't get mine. Don't worry. You and me both, girl. I would, yeah, I would call cool this winter. <laughs> I would They'll be listed in your orders with a tracking number. I think we gave them to my dad. <laughs> yeah, one of them. I think I gave one to my dad. One of them. All right, guys. So let's get back to tonight's topic. So it's on connecting and inviting um, is tonight's topic. And I kind of chose this because I feel that – I got to move you guys up. In the screen. No. I chose this because um, – let's dive right into it. I feel the number one most important thing we must do as coaches to grow our business is invite. All the other coach activities, checking in the challenge groups, personal development, having systems in place are important, but they don't build your business. So I always say there's business building activities and there's management activities. Management is, you know, you get on this team call, you get this information, it's important, you need to learn it, but you need to actually apply it. Management is you're in your challenge group all day. You're in training all day. You're reading your personal development. You're talking to other coaches on the team. You're figuring out systems. You're doing technology stuff. You're trying to tweak this and that. And at the end of the day, you're exhausted, but you haven't invited anybody to the business. If you're not inviting, um, which is on 
which is the big, most important thing is your business activity tracker. And for new coaches, you learn about this in Coach Basics. This is the tracker which tells you exactly what you should be doing every day as a coach. It's not hard things, but you have to have the self-discipline to do them every day. If you look here, this section here, section two, the biggest section really is about connecting with new people and inviting. So you have to be inviting every day if you want to have a growing business. So um, the thing that I like to follow and I have shared for 10 years now um, is the five-step invitation process because it works. This is basically a process of how you take somebody from the beginning of a conversation all the way up to them purchasing, in most cases, a challenge pack. Step one, just to recap here or go over, not recap, is the invite. And I'm going to dive into each of these and some of the objections we often get in the following slides. Step one is the invite. Step two is getting the person's goals and why. Why is that important? Because people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. When you take the time to ask somebody what their goals are and take the time to listen, they see the value in that you actually are caring and asking what their goals are and you're not shoving down their throat or vomiting on them. Nine-week control freak, it's the best program ever and buy it here and sending your website. No, you're taking the time to learn and listen to them. That builds a relationship. And that also helps you ultimately get through the other steps to the ultimate um, hopeful purchase of a challenge pack. The third step is sharing a third party tool. That is sharing a tool, the third party being Team Beach Body, something that they created that works that talks about our challenge groups. Because nine, nine, nine times out of 10, you're inviting somebody to join the challenge group. That's the foundation of our business, it's putting people in our groups helping them get results, and then help inviting them to join coaches on our team. So the step three is the third party tool. Step four is giving the people the specifics, the details, and cost of the challenge pack and the group, okay? And step five is the share a card. Guys, the most important thing I can say here, and I know I can never say it enough because I've said it a thousand times while helping people, you can't step, these steps are in chronological order, meaning you can't go from the invite to step four and give the specifics. You can't go to step three and send somebody a video without doing the invite. Like, they're not only five steps that you need to fulfill, but you need to check the box on the one before you can go to the next. Uh, it's super, super important. You cannot skip around. And I just want to add something about yeah using third-party tools. I can't stress how important this is, guys, whether it's a graphic, um, some coaches make their own version of what the challenge group entails, whatever it is, if it's a, a visual to send to the person or a video, you wanna think long-term, if this person could potentially be a coach on your team, whatever you do to invite them, you want them to understand that this can be duplicated for them to do with their people, right? So if you're just sending all different messages and, and just voice messaging through the whole process, that's not duplicatable. That's probably going to tell somebody, oh, wow, if I ever had to do this, I have to say all this to people. That's overwhelming, right? But if you're like inviting them, you get the goals, let me send you a video, let me know what you like about it. Here's a graphic of what the challenge group entails. If you want it or not, great, here's a share card. It's a process. You're training them out of the gate what our process is to invite someone so that they can see themselves down the line being a coach and doing exactly what you did and showing them how easy it is. So I just want you to think long-term how you, how you map out this process is training them how to duplicate how to be a coach. 100%. It works, and I've been teaching this and passing it down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, inviting is step one. It happens normally in one of two ways. We're going to kind of go through the five steps here. There's two ways this can happen. It can happen from a post that you put up or a story you share and someone inquires, okay? Or you actually invite somebody that you have been talking to. Now, my recommendation is that when you, if you do part two here where you actually invite somebody, I feel I've had the most success in 10 years 
inviting somebody that I have built a relationship with at least over a couple of weeks, normally about two weeks. I know if any of you or my coaches on here, if you think back, you probably went through a time where we were just talking and chatting on whatever, Instagram or Facebook, and then ultimately I invited you. I am not about just massively inviting cold market people. Some people do that. I'm not saying it doesn't work, but for me, I like to build a relationship and then do the invite. So every single day I'm connecting with new people so that I know that those new people I will build that relationship with so that I will ultimately always have people to invite. If you're not connecting each day, you have no people to invite and then eventually your well will dry up. Thank you, Sadie. So on the bottom in red is an example invite that I pretty much copy, paste, and send out. Feel free to take a picture of my screen so you don't have to like type it if you don't know how. But basically, um, not if you don't know how, if you don't want to take the time, just take a picture. Basically, it just said, so I want to throw this out there. My wife, Kristen, and I are quickly penciling people in for our next 30-day online fitness boot camp. We have a few spots left and want to invite you to do it alongside Kristen and I. I thought of you based off of our conversations and what we have in common. Would you like to hear more about it, David? That's my invite. I've been using it now for quite a while. I have it saved on my phone, so I just copy and paste it. And that's it, okay? So this is step one, okay? Step one's the invite. Either somebody asked you about what you're doing or you actually send an invite out. Okay, so now some of the things that, whoop, hold on guys, I have photos of, your photos over the screen are kind of uh, blocking. Okay, so some possible responses that you may get after sending out an invite. One is you get no response. And if you get no response, that's okay. Maybe, you know, next month that you can invite them in a couple of weeks and we do the next one. So don't worry about no response. Another response is sure, tell me more. That may be a response. If I don't get a response, I follow up with, hey, just checking to see if you see this. Even though you see the little face there, you know they saw it. <laughs> Send it anyway. <laughs> um, another response you may get right away is, how much is it? And I'm going to talk about this in a second. Another one is, send me some info first and I'll let you know. Another one is, what is your website? I'll check it out. Okay, guys. So in blue, I wrote always in capital, you need to weave in step two and get their goals first. Okay? My normal step two, if you remember, step two is getting their goals. Normally, let's just say they gave me the second response. They say, sure, to, you know, tell me more. I then write, tell me a little bit more about you and your fitness goals. I know we spoke a little, but the more I know about you and your goals, the better I can help you and point you in the right direction, Look at, looking forward to hearing back. That is a perfect, they say, sure, and then I go into step two. What happens if they say, how much is it? I still need to stay in step two, right? I don't want to tell them how much it is. How do I do that? I'll say something like this. The prices all vary depending on what you may need. So tell me a little bit more about you and your goals. I know we spoke a little bit, but the more I know about you and your goals, the better I can help you and point in the right direction. So I kind of pivot. When they say, how much is it? I don't get into, oh, it's $160. Because if you do that, they're immediately going to think, oh, it's too much. You know why? Because they don't know the value of what they're getting. So again, if somebody says, how much is it? Take a step back and go, okay, did I fulfill step one? Yes, I did an invite. They're asking how much it is. Did I get through step two? No. So I should not be going to step four, which is getting into price. How do I deal with it? Again, I'll repeat again. I simply say, the, part, the price all depends on what you may need. And then I go to step two. Tell me a little bit more about you and your fitness goals. Does that make sense? How I read back, okay? Another example is send me some info first and I'll let you know. What do we normally feel like we need to do? Oh, we want to send them the challenge pack. We want to send them the step three video. We want to send them step four in the details. I'm just going to list the details out. You cannot skip step two because you need to get their goals so they know that you care. And guys, this is another thing. If they do give you a price objection when you're on the tail end of this process, 
like on step five and they give you a price objection, knowing what their goals are is a great way to handle their objection, to be able to go back and be like, David, you told me as a father you're exhausted all the time for your kids and you need a change. You told me that you're fed up with being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Is it worth $160 for you to change your life? Like, that is a perfect way to handle an objection when you do get to price. If you rush into the details and specifics and don't get their goals, you can't come back and handle the objection. The fifth example, what is your website? I'll check it out. You don't send them your website. I would simply say, I can send you more details, absolutely. And I can give you the link to my website, absolutely. But first, tell me a little bit more about you and your goals. I know we spoke a little bit, but the more about you and your goals, the better I can help you point in the right direction. So I go into step two. Guys, are there any questions on that or any other responses you get after an invite? I'm gonna, un, I'm gonna get out of this screen here and I wanna, trying to get out of here, escape. Does anybody have any general questions right now with that? Come on guys, speak up. I'll tell you right now because I also know that this is where people get lost the most is in conversation because they don't know what to say. So everybody's good? Nobody has questions? Wow. Everybody's hitting Success Club this month. Coach Ro has a question. Go ahead, Ro. Hi. Well, it's more of a pattern and I've slowly figured out how to respond to it. I've been following the process. I have, you know, the bait on the hook <laughs> and always so close. And the, the comment, the pattern is, I need you to motivate me. And I always respond, I can't motivate you. I can give you the tools so you can feel motivated. And it's been working and I love it. And then it's just, you know, I'll get back to you tomorrow. So I've been posting and I keep posting my belly picture and it keeps working and I'm genuine. But my question is, they keep coming back every month with the same questions. And I keep giving them the same answers. And I, I, I just keep saying, I go, when you're ready. And I, I've been so blunt with some people just because I've known them for such a long time. But it's a pattern. And it's my fourth month. And it's the same for people who keep coming back to me whenever they see my belly picture. So I, I just need some guidance on month five if they're still not signing up. <laughs> I think, I think it, I, I might have said this to you to say to them, listen, like, I, like call them out. Like this is the fourth month in a row we've been talking. Yes. I understand it's a big decision. What do you think is holding you back? That, and I did that. Thank you. Because I did that today. And um, she wants to talk tomorrow, which is yes. fine. I, I love talking and I'm not going to waste my fourth month talking, but um, I, I do the pullback at one point because some people just really, it's, it's hard if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling like that. So I connect with them because I was, you know, depressed in my adolescent years. I was that mom that couldn't walk up the stairs with my own child. So besides the goals, I really think like number two and a half question should be what's holding you back because it's worth, I, I feel like it really connects because no one wants to be open with you unless you get them to be open with with them first and kind of peel your banana peel and say, I'm a real human being. You know, I only lost weight. I'm still the same person I was four months ago. I have struggles. I have X, Y, and Z all day, but I really think like there's one more deeper question that needs to be in there, you know, yeah. just like you said. Yeah. Well, like, is, step, two, yeah. step two is not meant to just maybe be, you, you get asked the question, they give you one message back. Sometimes you're going back and forth for days. And you're talking. <laughs> and for Rob, a bit. some people take months and months and months. Yes. To make it. Like me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's a decision yeah. to, to really want to change your life. And again, when you have somebody who's asking you about this, you know, at our ages, they've failed a number of times. Otherwise, they wouldn't be asking you for help. So when you fail a number of times, you're hesitant every time you go to do something new right? Like, is this going to fail again? And that's, that's a big holdup. So when you directly ask someone, what is holding you back? You're going to get a lot of deep information. You're going to become yeah. the therapist and you're going to, but that's, Absolutely. but that's very telling. 
Yes. Rosanna, yes. also, I just posted in my notes, I saved these two lines and I pasted it right in because when people get to that point, they're not committing. I ask one or two questions. What's the cost to your life by not committing to change? That's yep. one way I put it. That's or great. what's the cost to your future self by not investing in yourself now? If not yeah. this, what? If not now, when? Oh, you wrote that? Yeah. Oh, I put sure that in. Wrote that. No, I have that saved on my notes. So when people get that, I hit it. Like, this is the yeah. other thing, everybody. Realize this. It's kind of like, let's refer to the game of baseball. You know, in the beginning, your batting average, you may only get out of, of 10 people you speak to, one person, and you're one out of 10, you're batting a, you know, a 100 batting average. Isn't great. But when you get three people out of 10 to say yes, you're an all-star, right? So the thing is, you get better the more you do it, like something in sports. For me, in the beginning, I would have a lot more people I would struggle with in conversation. But the more you do it, the better you get. The better you get, the more confidence you get. The more confidence you get, the more you're able to be direct and voice message and say, mm -hmm. like, you're like, now I take pride in. We have a team for 10 years we've been running this. We've helped and our team's thousands of people. What's the cost to yourself for not investing in yourself now? So there's a fine line of they're really not ready or it's fear that they're afraid of failure. And yeah. they're afraid of failure. And that's when you have to kind of hit them with those, like one of those questions or something else direct, you know, especially if it's month after month. But step two is sometimes we have to go a little bit back and forth. And I'll just add this real quick. If you feel you are trying to convince somebody, yeah. they are yeah. not ready. They yes. are, and I have said to people, listen, I feel like I have to kind of push you into this and I don't think you're ready for this yet. I have told people that. And they've either like really like been like, wow, thank you for being honest. Or they're like, you know, or they've come back later. You just know, you don't want to push anyone to do it where they're going to make a quick decision and then they're not going to show up later. You know, they really have to want to do this. So, yeah. you know, like he said, there's a, that fine line um, of that. But being blunt with people, honestly, you got nothing to lose by saying, listen, I need to get real with myself. So I'm going to be real with you because that's what I would give you as, as being your coach. That's that trust that you're building. Um, I'm going to come back to some, some of these questions on here. I'm actually going to answer them. And at the end, I will come back. So let me go back to where we are because I see some good questions. And this is, uh, this is. And good. guys, if you have more questions, just throw them in the chat. And, and we'll I'll back come back them. and go through to them. Okay. So the next slide. Oh, come on. All right. So you get their goals, step two. Then what? You want to send a third party tool, which is step three. Okay. The example I use um, is the Ever Feel Like This video that, excuse me, that is in your coach online office. To get to it, if you go to your coach online office, grow my business, then the shareable media tab under grow my business, and then under Team Beach Body shareable video is the ever feel like this video. It basically breaks down what the challenge group is and what a coach will do to help you. Okay? Do not skip this step. And often people try to tell, talk too much. Sometimes we tend to talk people out of it. So why I say is step three is use the third party tool. Let the experts do the talking. Okay. Now, uh, use the resources to help you succeed. Um, and the third, oh, I forgot to, oh, I forgot to take that out. Disregard three. That should not even be in the slide. <laughs> that is me making slides and duplicating. Um, that should look like that. Okay. So my step three, and again, take a picture of the screen if you want. Um, again, I save all these scripts. Why? To save time. I am not typing out the same thing over and over again. All I do is fill in where the X's are. So I just say, hi, got it. I have no doubt that this group will help you. And I insert their why, their goals. You made a great choice to take a look. So here's a short video clip to check out that shares a little bit more about the group. Take a look and message me back after you watch it. Let me know what you like about it. Guys, keywords, let me know what you like about it. Why do I ask that? Because that pulls out the good. Not tell me what you think. Tell me what you think is giving the people the option to talk in a negative way and give you what they don't like. 
So I say, let me know what you like about it. I can then send you over specifics about the group, what you can expect to gain and how it all works. Sound good? Here is the link. That link there is I got from my coach online office. It will take them to my website and play to ever feel like this video. And then I write, look forward to hearing back, David. So that's step three, okay? They don't answer. So now what? Remember this, the fortune is in the follow-up. I put it in red because that's a line, a quote that was told to me as a newbie coach, and I'll never forget it. The fortune's in the follow-up. And this doesn't just mean this may happen where they don't answer you after step three. This could also be something that happens after step two. This is how I follow up. Again, these are the scripts I use. I am very big on scripts, not very big on typing the same thing over and over and trying to customize it each time. My first one, what I do, I normally follow up after two days. So if I am with step two with somebody and I send them the video step three, I will mark to follow up with them on two days, which leads me to a, like a sidebar guy thing, sidebar piece. You need to be organized, whether paper and pen, whether a Google spreadsheet, I use Teamsy in the beginning, maybe it's a notebook, whatever works for you, a binder, but you need to be tracking and being organized so you don't forget the people. So after two days, I say, hi, their name, how are you? I just wanted to follow up with you since I didn't hear back. Did you get to check out the video? What did you like about it? Talk soon, David. If I need to send this follow-up, guys, after step two and I'm asking their goals, I'll say the same thing. Hi, how are you? I just want to follow up since I didn't hear back. That usually triggers a response, that exact sentence. I don't need to put in, did you check out the video? Because that what I'm exampling is if that was after step two. The most important line in this first follow-up is, I just want to follow up since I didn't hear back. If they still don't answer two days later, I then say, hi, how are you? I hope I didn't scare you away or say something wrong. If I did, I apologize. I just want to help. Talk to you soon. That almost always gets a response. Nobody wants to feel like maybe they think that you think they did something wrong. It just, this, usually I'll get people to finally say no, or they'll just tell me they've been busy and sorry, and they're going to get to watching the video, or I'm so sorry, and they give me their goals, or whatever you are in the five steps, these are the follow-ups that you can apply to your conversations. Again, what do I recommend you do? Take a picture of this, type it out on your own on your phone or in your notes on your phone or wherever you do your work and save the scripts so that you have them and you can work efficiently, right? It's not about having more time. It's about managing your time effectively. I'm very quick because I have everything saved before. Okay, this is another common objection I get. Is, is Shakeology um, required? I don't do shakes. Yeah, I don't. I got my own shake. I got my own shakes. shakes. I, don't. I got a protein shake. <laughs> I got it. So what I say, um, and this can apply for the performance line if people are talking about the performance line as well. We require this. Again, this red is my, is my script. I saved this. We require everyone to drink Shakeology, and this is why. Fitness and nutrition come hand in hand, and I have learned that people struggle with their diet most. Whether they don't know what to eat or, like yourself, are super busy, people miss meals. Shakeology is a quick and easy meal that will give you your daily dose of dense nutrition. We are what we eat, and the results that we see with those that replace one meal a day with Shakeology to those that don't are night and day. Therefore, we will not set someone up for failure. We want the absolute best nutrition available to you daily so we set you up for success. Therefore, we require it. So that's how I handle the Shakeology objection. Because thank, that, you for, thank you for posting that. That was another obstacle um, for two of the women. And I think it was an excuse not to spend, but um, I feel like it's living proof. Like I feel like it saved my ailments and I can't express that enough to anyone. And that wording is, is great. So thank you. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> Because, team, I, and let, they, let's, people don't know what it is. They don't know what it is. And if they want to hear more about it, um, there's a video in the Coach Online office again called Shakeology Starts Here. Shakeology Starts Here. I can send them the video if they want to see it. No problem. Again, that's a third party tool, the Shakeology right. video that Beachbody has. But 
Team, remember, this is fact. We're not trying to get over on anybody. We're not trying to sell them Shakeology. Fitness and nutrition come hand in hand, guys. I'll tell you right now, I work out six days a week and have religiously. My weight's up like seven, eight pounds. You know why? My eating has not been dialed in. Like, we all know we are what we eat. Like, and with Beachbody, it's the nutrition and the fitness combined with the support. So, like, I have this because I, I believe in what I say here. So you need to believe in it. If you're like, yeah, I'm sorry, the shake is required, they will see that you're not confident about it. It works. Like, it helps people plug one meal in a day. So value what you have to offer. And I'm very strong about this. I really don't let anybody in our groups anymore. Um, if they're not doing, um, obviously, the fitness plus Shakeology or the performance line, because that could be a substitute as well. Okay, so then the next thing here, and this one's kind of big, but this is how I break down um, step four, okay? So after you, they watch the video, step four is going over the specifics and the value of what they are getting. The reason I capitalized value, guys, is because if people really understand the value of what they're getting, $160 is not a lot of money. That is why if, when people ask you right up front, how much is it? And you didn't take them through learning their goals, letting them see the video that shares about the group, and then taking the time to explain it like how I do here as an example, they will never see the value in $160. It's always a value objection. It's never a price objection. When people give price objections, nine times out of 10, it's not that they don't have the money. It's they don't see the, the, the value and why they should spend 160 bucks. Okay? This is my step four. Feel free to take a picture of it. Notice how I space it out. I don't write this in one big paragraph because they have done studies that people on the phones now do not read left to right. They read up and down. They scroll quickly. You need to space out your response. But if you look on how I broke this down, I really explain everything they're getting. And I say, I have no doubt this challenge group will help you get the absolute best results. Here's the deal. It's simple. Fitness plus nutrition plus support equals success. The commitment is 30 days of a Beachbody workout program, Shakeology, and the challenge group accountability page. You commit to the Beachbody workout program of your choice, Shakeology once a day, and a challenge group spot for accountability and support. We will work together and help each other win. This is a proven and simple formula, and those that commit are much more likely to finish and get the absolute best results. You do everything at home or at the gym on your time and your schedule. No in-person meetings or groups, uh, group workouts. Group interaction is all done online, so you can post along with the team each day. The challenge group begins on Monday. I put the date in. The initial investment is a challenge pack. The all-access Beachbody On Demand challenge pack is what everybody has been getting. This is why. You will get access to every single Beachbody workout program that has ever come out for an entire year through Beachbody On Demand, which allows you to stream it to any phone, tablet, PC, smart TV. It's over $7,000 worth of programs. You can literally do one program, then another, and another, and so on. We joke and call it the Netflix of fitness. You will get access for free to both our nutrition programs, the Ultimate Portion Fix and 2B Mindset for the entire program and are both easy to follow. This will be the key to your success. You will also get an entire month of Shakeology as a full meal replacement, which we have seen is the secret to getting results. You will also get a shaker cup as well. It's on special for $160. You will get everything for this price. We run the groups for free, and all we require is the challenge pack. Sound good? Guys, I lay it out to like overwhelm them. You get this, and you get this, and you get this, and you get this, okay? I don't get much price objections. I may up, up front. But when I take them through the steps, I don't get many price objections when I break this down like this because they see the value. And then the last, oh, some more common objections. Okay, here we go. And Kristen wrote these um, before. I don't have time. I'm too busy. I don't have the money right now. And I can't work out at home. So when I don't have time, I'm too busy. I normally just, this is a thing. Facts tell 
stories sell. Another great line I learned back in the day. Facts tell, stories sell. I share my story. Like, I know everybody has, guys, let's be real. We all have the time. When it's a priority, we find the time. Otherwise, like they say, you find an excuse. When it's important to you, you get it in. If I have three daughters and I worked full-time with the state police and had this business that's like a full-time business now, and I had time to run around and get it in, so do most people. You may have to give up Netflix series or whatever you're watching, whatever it is. So when people say they don't have the time, I just explain my story. I share how I figured it out. I sacrificed TV. I got up a little earlier. If you really break down the day of 24 hours, people have the time. So you need to dive into that. I can tell you what's just... No. No? Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have the money right now. I think when you get that objection, you didn't spend enough time giving them the value of what it's worth. And guys, maybe 20%, 10% of the time, they really don't have it. I will tell you right now, I'm getting a lot more price objections because of the holidays. That's okay. I'm following up with them in the beginning of January because I know the holidays are going to happen. They're going to want to get back on track for the new year and I'll invite them again because I know this month wasn't right. So maybe they don't have the money this month, but sometimes the money objection is really a value objection. And then the last one, excuse me. Oh, thank you. The last one is I can't work out at home. And I explain to them that's okay because you can stream the workouts at the gym. Until it closes. Until it closes. <laughs> um, and you could take them with you on your tablet, your phone. They're convenient. They're easy. And that's how I handle that objection. Okay? Step five, guys, is the share a cart. Setting up a share a cart with the challenge pack and checking them out. Easy peasy. And the last thing I want to say, and then I'll check the chat. I know this call has been an hour, but hopefully it was helpful. You need synergy so what you do each day will increase your success. What do I mean by that? If you're not posting and sharing your life and your journey of doing these workouts and sharing the team and even sharing you're on a team call tonight and this new program and sharing your workout and sharing your everyday life, it's, it's going to be a lot harder for you to get people to say yes because people watch you. And when they see that you are who you say you are because you're inviting somebody to commit to something that they're watching you do day after day after day, they're going to see you stand behind what you're doing and you're much more likely to have success. So people see what I do and they know what I do because I just, I have the discipline to be consistent every day. It's very hard if you're not posting and sharing what you're doing to get people to commit to the programs because they don't even see you doing it. It's very hard to get people to sign up to be coaches if you're not sharing what coaching's done for you and about the team. You have to have that synergy because people watch you. When you have the synergy, you will have a lot more success on these prior steps because people are watching you. So that's kind of what the last slide I had. I want to check for any questions. If you have any questions right off the bat, you can unmute yourselves. Was this helpful? Guys, let me see here. Biggest objection, I guess, they think it's like those other shakes that you live on on them where they're two times a day and then a small meal at night. They don't realize the purpose is nutrition. So Joanna says that. Guys, if I get still get shake objections, I explain it's a full meal replacement, all natural. I send them a third-party tool. I yeah. send them the Shakeology Start Here video, and then like the light bulb goes off, and they realize, okay, it's not the same. And I'm just going to also share something. Um, like Dave was saying about stories, um, I had a coach who uh, was like into like holistic nutrition and stuff, and she was very hesitant on Shakeology. And I shared with her this story of Isabel Deichler. And I don't know if you guys know how Shakeology came to be, but Isabel Deichler, Carl's wife, um, was very ill at one point, and doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. Um, she was having trouble, you know, walking upstairs and everything. So they were trying to put her on all kinds of medication. Um, she herself was also into the holistic world. And she had reached out to all her friends that were in holistic med medicine. And they were telling her, okay, you need, to, you need this superfood to help with this. You need this superfood to help with that. So she actually started concocting in her kitchen this, like, superfood shake that she started to drink every day and she actually started to heal herself naturally by this concoction she had created. 
and doctors were baffled. They couldn't believe it. And Carl said to her, I need you to make this for my fitness company. Because at the time, it was just P90X and Insanity. It was just fitness. Mm -hmm. And he knew that people needed a nutrition component. And he himself, he'll joke and say he ate like a second grader. He hated vegetables. He didn't eat healthy. Um, and she said, no, I'm not going to do this for you because you're just going to try to make money off of this. And he said, I swear I won't. Um, and that's when they brought in Darren Olean, who's a, you know, an expert on superfoods and such. And they traveled the world to get the top ingredients to make the superfood shake for people to be able to nourish their bodies in a way that regular food just wasn't doing it, right? Like regular food these days, are, it's just not the same. Even organic food, it's just not the same. So that's how Shakeology came to be because she kind of like made it herself to heal herself. Um, and once I told her that story, this coach, she goes, sign me up. That story sealed the deal. That's amazing. Right. So, you know, I think a lot of times when people are like, I don't want your protein shake. I don't want, it's expensive. Like they have these blocks, but it's our job to educate people on what Shakeology is. I've told people, do you mind if I share some information with it, with you on Shakeology? Cause I, I'm sure you don't know what it is. Cause I didn't either. And once they are open and they watch a video or you share a story um, of what it helped, has helped for you, all of a sudden people are more open to saying, wow, that sounds pretty amazing. Let me try that. So just a little tip is just say to people, listen, I, I, you probably don't understand what it is. It's really not just a protein shake. It really is so much more. And there's so many amazing benefits. Can I share some information with you just so you are aware and you can educate yourself? Right. So that's that. Guys, are there any general questions? Put them in the chat or unmute yourself. I will say, if you really follow this and you get good at it, you've mastered 95% of what it is to build the business and build it as, as a coach. It comes down to you have to invite and you got to be able to take people through the steps. And you got to be okay with no's. Yeah, like... It's, it, you got to detach emotion from it. And just like, like Rose, Rosanna said, like same people four months in a row, they'll come around eventually or they won't. But the point is she's going to, she's still talking to the people who need her, who want her, who are ready. Those are the people that are going to get her attention. She will keep checking in with those other people. They may never be ready, but they may be ready in a year. I mean, we have those of us that have been around for a while. We have people coming to us years after they started watching us years. So it's, some people really legit need to fail at everything else they try on their own before they're going to spend money, before they're going to, you know, invest and trust you, right? And they want to watch you. They want to know it works. And they want to see if you're going to keep going too. So that's why it's really important for you to be super consistent with your own journey. Always. Always number one. Um, any questions? No, one more comment. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Kristen, for sharing that story. I don't know. I was crying just before because the shakes literally saved my body. Like it, and I tell that to everyone that I talk to who have questions and doubt about the shakes. I tell them my experience. I went from not being able to walk up the stairs holding the baby to now holding her and I can hold anything else I want now. <laughs> yeah. But it, it really was the combination of everything. But I really think it was that those shakes, it just... It, it substituted what I was lacking. Um, yep. it, it's just amazing. It's incredible. So and thanks for sharing that story. And that's, story. <laughs> and that's your story. So that's yeah, yeah, powerful. yeah. Absolutely, guys. To sum to sum up, remember everything we want to do as network marketing. You want to create something that's duplicatable, so that you can teach your coaches, you teach their coaches, and something that works easy to do. For example, this call recording will be up tomorrow. If you're trying to mentor, you have new coaches and they weren't on the call and they're trying to talk to people, instead of you spending an hour of time or you're going back and forth, you give them this recording. Hey, watch this call where they went over the five steps. It's really helpful. You plug them in and then they learn. If they sign up coaches, they also can just plug people in. Just remember the value of duplication and the value of doing something that you're not just doing that nobody else can duplicate. You have to create the things that can. And this is a system that was passed that I learned as a baby coach from a Tommy migrant 10 years ago when they created this. 
and I've used this for 10 years and we passed it down to everybody and we know it works. So guys, that's um, the, to wrap the call. The recording will be up tomorrow. I'm seeing the comments. I'm glad this was a big help. Guys, if you have not got your control freak yet, get it. I'm really, really excited. Shannon and Lindsay jumping ahead, kicking ass. So go girls. Hopefully you're not too sore tomorrow. Um, otherwise, uh, guys, have a great week, and we will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.